everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm here today with an unboxing video for you. And the unboxing is going to be of the Guthrie & Garney Sewing Society boxes. I've done a couple of these unboxing videos before on my channel as I've previously purchased two of the Guthrie & Garney Sewing Society boxes the Kelly Anorak and the Ogden Kami. If you don't know what the Sewing Society is, basically Guthrie and Garney on the first Wednesday of every month release usually two options for a project that you can make, so a garment, and options for fabrics that you can make it out of, and you purchase the kit and it comes in a box with everything you need to make that garment. So the fabric, any notions, interfacing, thread, that sort of thing. It also comes with a special label and you get access to extra videos that Lauren produces to share hints and tips of particular steps along the way of the garment construction. As I mentioned, there are usually two options each month, but I have never purchased more than one box in a month. Until now. <laughs> this month I could not choose between the two garments that were on offer. I loved them both. I loved the fabric options and I just received a refund from my football season ticket. So I'm a Newcastle United supporter. I have a season ticket for the games. That's football or soccer if you're in the US. And because of COVID-19, they had to obviously stop having fans at the games. So I lost out on four or five games, I think, that I should have been able to be at, basically. And they refunded the money. So I had some money that was an unexpected surprise, really. And I thought, I'm just gonna get both the boxes this month. Why choose between the two when I can have both? And it doesn't actually feel like I'm paying for them because I was using money that was unexpected anyway, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I went for both. Here are my two boxes and let's get into them. I don't know which one I'm opening first, so let's just see. So they come in a box with the Guthrie & Garney Sewing Society label on. And then inside, it's all wrapped up beautifully with everything that you need. So we've got a little bag of goodies there. We've got a tissue paper wrapped packet of goodies there. And then we've got some pattern pieces. So then this kit that I've unwrapped first of all is for the Persephone pants by Anna Allen. So from the Anna Allen website, it says that the Persephone pants and shorts pattern is based on photographs of men's 1920s to 1940s US Navy sailor pants. They're a high-waisted pants and short. They're unique because they don't have a side seam. So the front and back pant legs are cut from one piece rather than the usual two. There's a concealed button fly. There are front waist inseam pockets. There's belt loops and then there's also darts in the back to add some shape. So I've heard amazing things about these pants and I've always liked the look of them but I've never got around to making them. So when they came up as an option this month I just I couldn't stop thinking about them and I had to have them. So let's have a look at what we got. Now I believe the Persephone pants just comes as a PDF pattern so Guthrie and Garney now have an A0 printer so they've printed out the pattern pieces that you need and then they've emailed the instruction booklet. So the fabric is a cotton twill and it's in this beautiful burgundy colour which is absolutely stunning. That's a really lovely weight of fabric as well. There we go, so that's just one layer. And as it's a twill, it's got that lovely diagonal weave going through it. You've got three meters of that fabric. So that is there, I need to get that pre-washed. Then you also got some beautiful lining fabric for the pockets, which is Liberty. And this is the one that I got. So there were three different color options for the Persephone pants. There was a rust color, a blue colour and then the burgundy that I got and then each one had a different Liberty fabric paired with it for the pocket linings. You also got the interfacing that you need. You get a little postcard which says make to measure 
and on the back you put your measurements and then any notes that you make while you're doing your project and then in our little bag of goodies let's see what we've got you get a set of machine needles this time it's just standard machine needles that you need for this project the matching gutterman thread I mentioned a label earlier, so you get a little label that says made by me with G and G, which is really cute. And then there are some lovely buttons to add to your project. So we've got a big one, and then we've got the smaller ones for the button fly. There we go. They're really lovely. So there are five of those as well. So that's everything in there to make the Persephone pants. I'm really excited about making those. I'm not going to start on them soon though because with just recently having had a baby, my body is a bit of a strange shape at the moment. So I don't want to make something so fitted as a pair of trousers like this without knowing you know, what my body's going to settle at and whether I'm going to actually be able to wear them within a few weeks. So I'd rather give it a bit more time for my body to, you know, get to its new normal state and then I shall make a start on making them. They'll be gorgeous for autumn and winter though, so I do want to get onto them within the next couple of months. And then we have box number two. Let's open this one up and see what we've got. Again, we've got a little paper bag of goodies got a postcard in this one just saying thank you for purchasing and giving details about the Facebook group that you can join and also directing you to an email to get your videos from Lauren and the pattern instructions and then also there's a hashtag that you can share your makes over on Instagram. Again we've got our tissue paper package of fabric and we've got our pattern pieces. So this kit is for the Sally maxi dress and jumpsuit from Closet Core Patterns. This is a dress or a jumpsuit that's designed for knit fabrics. So it's chic and comfortable, it's got a bit of a 70s vibe and there's lots of different options that you can mix and match to create your perfect garment. For the bottom half you can either have wide leg culotte style trousers, wide leg full trousers, or you can have a maxi skirt and they have side slits and then they all have the option of having pockets as well and they all have an elasticated waist for comfort. On the top half you can either have a strappy tank style vest with tie shoulder straps or you can have a v-neck t-shirt and that has an interesting tie detail at the back as well. So there are two fabric options for this one, one is just a plain forest green modal jersey and the other was a patterned modal jersey which was described as sea glass I believe. I went for the plain option and I'll be making the tie strap jumpsuit version of the pattern. So in the box you've got like I said your A0 pattern pieces again. Now in the past the boxes have always had the paper patterns in. I don't know if this is a permanent switch or if it's just temporary I don't know but I guess it gives Guthrie and Garney more options because they can use pattern companies that only release their patterns as PDFs, which is great. So I've got my pattern pieces there and I would just download the booklet from the email. I mentioned this postcard. Let's look at the fabric. Oh, it's so soft. And this is it. This beautiful forest green colored modal jersey it is so unbelievably soft wow it's really lovely really drapey really soft and that's going to be gorgeous against the skin so there's two and three quarter meters of that fabric which is enough to make any of the versions in any of the sizes again you've got interfacing that you need you've got the elastic that you need for the elasticated waist the make to measure postcard again and then our little bag of goodies we've got our made with G&G &G label our Gutterman thread which matches the fabric and then this time we've got jersey needles specifically for the jersey fabric 
And that's everything in both of the boxes. I'm really excited about both of those projects. I can't wait to make them. The Sally project I'm actually going to be making with my mum. So we're going to be having a sewing day. She bought the box as well. She's going to be making the jumpsuit with the t-shirt on the top option. I'm going to be making the strappy tie shoulder vest top jumpsuit option. So we're going to make them together and I thought it might be quite nice if actually once we've made them we film a little video together and show you both of our versions. Let me know what you think about that idea and if you would like that to happen but I thought it might be quite nice for us to show you two different ages, two different body types, two different styles and how we look in our final jumpsuits and how we found making them. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I do really love the idea of the Guthrie and Garney Sewing Society boxes. I get really excited when it gets towards the end of a month because Lauren starts to release some sneaky peeks of what next month's patterns might be and you can have a little guess of what you think they're going to be. And then on the first Wednesday of the month, it's always really exciting watching the clock strike 12. I've actually got an alarm set on my phone for two minutes to 12 to make sure that I'm on my computer or my phone and I can nab the colour fabric or the project that I want because they do sell out super quickly. So if you are interested and you would like to see what the boxes contain and have a chance at getting your own Sewing Society box, do subscribe to the Guthrie and Garney emails and opt in to the Sewing Society option so you get notified of the release of the boxes. Did that make sense? I'm not sure. Hopefully it did. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what is inside this month's boxes. If you don't already, please subscribe to my videos. I really love to have more and more of you joining me on this journey and I love hearing from you in the comments below. So do leave me a comment and I will enjoy reading it. <laughs> I hope you're all well and I'll hopefully see you all again soon with another video. Happy sewing. Bye. As I've previously, as I pre. <laughs>